There are plenty of note-taking apps designed to simplify your workflow, but mostly, we waste a lot of time just thinking about which one to pick. So among all of them, Obsidian and Google Keep are two of the most useful note-taking apps. Obsidian is great for people who prefer in-depth organization, while Google Keep is a straightforward, easy-to-use app for jotting down quick notes, lists, and reminders. Let's see which one fits perfectly into your everyday routine. The first thing you notice when you first jump to any software is the interface. A well-designed user interface is important in any note-taking app, as it determines how smoothly you can capture your thoughts. Obsidian being a powerful tool for note-taking can feel intimidating at first, because its interface is filled with sidebars and a multitude of buttons, which might be distracting when you're focused on quickly writing down notes. While it's easier to manage after some use, the initial learning curve might demotivate new users. In Obsidian, you can toggle between two modes, Edit Mode, where you type, and Preview Mode, where you view your Markdown-styled text. This is done via an icon in the top right, but switching modes often can become frustrating. A helpful shortcut is to hold the Command key while clicking the Preview icon, which allows you to view both modes side-by-side -side in separate panes. Google Keep is way ahead in this aspect because it actually keeps things simple. The layout is clean and straightforward, with a side panel on the left offering key options and the main workspace in the center. At the top, you'll notice a prompt that says, Take a note. This is the place to start jotting down thoughts with a single click. Additionally, you can personalize your note-taking space by adding images, colorful backgrounds, attachments, and more. Google has engineered the perfect balance of simplicity and functionality, which gives Google keep an advantage in terms of its user interface. This could be the major difference between them, how they operate. Obsidian is offline, and Google Keep is cloud-based and requires an internet connection. Obsidian stores all your notes directly on your device, whether it's a laptop, desktop, or phone. These notes are saved as simple markdown files, which are text files with a bit of formatting. You don't need an internet connection to access or edit your notes. Since your notes are local, they are not automatically shared with anyone or synced across devices unless you set up something like a third-party cloud service to manually sync between devices. Because your notes are saved directly on your device and not in the cloud, they are more private and secure. In contrast, Google Keep stores your notes on Google's cloud servers. Any changes you make are immediately saved and synced across all your devices, provided you're online. For instance, if you create a note on your phone, it will appear instantly on your laptop or tablet as long as you're logged into the same Google account. While Google Keep does allow for some offline use, it's limited. We've already said that Obsidian is more complex, and it's because of its highly customizable features. Obsidian's extensive customization options make it a favorite for users who like to modify their note-taking experience to their specific needs. It has a large plugin ecosystem. Some plugins come pre-installed, but there are hundreds of community-developed plugins that can do things like create calendars, enable task management, or even integrate other tools like GitHub. Obsidian allows you to customize the look and feel of the app using themes. For even deeper customization, you can use CSS snippets to change how specific elements in the interface look. Google Keep is built for simplicity and ease of use, so it doesn't offer much in terms of customization. You can apply colors and themes to your notes to visually categorize them. However, there's no ability to change the app's overall appearance. There are no plugins or advanced customization options like in Obsidian. You can use reminders and add drawing or voice notes, but these are built-in features and not customizable. If we talk about some amazing and advanced features, Obsidian has a lot of them. One of them is the graph view. It's kind of like a mind map. It shows all the connections between all the notes. The real power of Obsidian's graph lies in the local graph feature. This feature shows a smaller, more focused graph to map out how the active note connects to other notes and vice versa. These bidirectional links allow for effortless navigation between related ideas, with the graph automatically updating whenever you move to a new note. 
Backlinks are the core feature of any interconnected note-taking tool that enables you to navigate through your notes like a personal wiki. These links become clickable in preview mode, and they are also reflected in Obsidian's graph view to offer a visual representation of your note connections. Obsidian acts as an interface for plain text files stored directly on your device and fully supports standard markdown. With various themes and syntax highlighting available, reading and editing markdown within Obsidian becomes more intuitive. Google Keep, unfortunately, is nowhere near in this round. They aim to be simple. So there aren't any advanced features that will leave you in wonder. You would love to keep your notes organized, wouldn't you? Obsidian shines in how it allows users to organize and connect their notes. You can link notes together, creating a network of interconnected ideas. And the graph view shows all your notes and their connections as a visual network. You can organize your notes into folders to give a traditional file-like structure. Obsidian also supports tags, which are like keywords you can add to any note. This allows you to filter or group notes based on specific themes or topics. Meanwhile, Google Keep takes a much simpler approach to organizing notes. It lets you add labels to your notes, which is similar to how tags work in Obsidian. You can assign different colors to your notes to help visually categorize them. This is a fast and easy way to tell different types of notes apart, like assigning one color for work-related notes and another for personal to-dos. You can pin important notes to the top of your screen so they're always easily accessible. Google Keep also allows you to create checklists, which are great for to-do lists or shopping lists. Once items are checked off, they're moved to the bottom, helping you stay organized. Obsidian is primarily designed for individual use, so it lacks built-in collaboration features. If you want to collaborate or share notes, you have to manually share the markdown files via other means like email, cloud storage, or GitHub. This is fine for sharing static notes, but there's no built-in syncing or real-time collaboration. Google Keep is collaboration-friendly and designed to be used by multiple people at once. You can easily share any note with someone else, and both of you can edit the note at the same time by adding collaborators to your note. Google Keep integrates seamlessly with other Google services like Google Drive and Google Docs, which makes collaboration smoother. So guys, which one should you pick, Obsidian or Google Keep? Okay, let us ask you another question. What do you prefer, simplicity or complexity? Obsidian is ideal for users who need deep customization, complex organization, and a private offline first note-taking system. It's best suited for researchers, writers, or people working on long-term projects who prefer working alone and want to organize and customize their notes exactly how they want. Google Keep is perfect for users who value simplicity, need basic organization tools like labels and colors, and want to collaborate easily with others. So think first, where do you belong, and then make the jump. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.